Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing the new moon in Gemini reading. It is this Saturday. I'm excited. I'm excited because it's my moon sign, Gemini. And um, I've definitely felt like it's it, the season has been a lot more, I don't want to necessarily say happier energy, but a little bit more out there energy, a little bit more like doing what you want, expressing. Let's see, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up for the new moon. New moon energy, guys. We have protection, 24. Protection, being protected, protecting someone, protecting yourself. bird energy nests nesting nesting into your home into your space nesting being in a nest being held being held being held you guys being held i was gonna pull another one from here but something told me not to it was like no not not from there anymore um but this one Where's the energy at for us? Broken heart, broken heart. Healing from a broken heart. Number nine. Some of you guys have to address this, okay? It's coming into full circle. You're gonna understand what what has um what what the what the benefit of this broken heart is you know i always like to say you know we're never truly broken we're never truly truly broken it can just really feel that way like you feel whole you feel complete you feel like everything's amazing and then you crumble down it's like that crumbling you know the crumbling and you're like i'm broken I, I don't feel put together. And sometimes we break our bones and it's like legit. We're breaking, we're bro broken, we're breaking. But we're never truly broken. You know, like there's a way everything can heal and be interwoven again. So we can hold on to that. I'm gonna pull some tarot. Um, we can hold on to that. You know, trusting in the spirit that flows between our bones and our cells and our skin. The world. I said that everything was coming full circle. This is the world card. This is literally that, you know. Um, it's number 21. The world. It's like... There's all these outside forces. Sometimes it's just like, you know, you can feel like the world is crumbling down on you. You know, the world is, is, is just too much all at once, right? But there's like a unity in all of this, like the circle of life, you know, that song. Um, oh my God, I should sing that song. Circle in the circle of life, right? The, from the, um, from Lion King. Oh my god, it's so good. And also Colors of the Wind. I don't know. I'm just getting some music downloads. But um, Colors of the Wind also. I think that one. Yeah. We have Ten of Cups in reverse. So it's like it's there. It's like this is what you want. This is what we're reaching towards. That like happy life. That completion. Or maybe, you know what, also, if you're going through a broken heart, this is what you thought it was. But you're going to see that you can find that within yourself. You fill your own cup. You fill your own cup. And this is, this can be all around you. You could be, yes, wanting this happy family, the, the marriage, the children, the, you know, land, the home, the, like, I did it energy right because it came up in reverse all right or it's just seeing that this is it already you have it all 
basically we're in this place where it's like you're either looking at it, you're you're taking your next steps towards it, or you're just ravishing, ravishing. Is that the word? Ravishing in it, like you're just soaking it all up, taking it all in, and 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 it's time to really acknowledge that, and it hasn't been as acknowledged as it can be. There's just so much good and beauty all around you. And this season, this new moon, this is like that new energy. It's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm influencing the whole world, right? Because you're an influence to the world. Just existing, you know, we have a place. There's a, our place in this world. And we can totally give it all we got. And it's time to do that, you know, maybe we haven't been doing it. And maybe it's because we've had this broken heart. We've been having to heal our hearts from just things. It could be relationships. It could be family. It could be career. It could be loss. It could be anything, right? Our hearts can really feel heavy sometimes. And wow, it's almost like these are the cards in reverse. <laughs> and to know that you're just divinely protected. We're just so protected. So, 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 so protected we're held we are held and it's falling into the mother's arms you know the mother earth and you and you can feel that in yourself it's a choice it is it is a choice you know to 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 sanctify sacredify i'm just making that word up if that's even a word your shower even like i made a post about that like my showers have become so meaningful i think after becoming a mother especially um but like, just, it's that type of choice. Like I'm in my shower and you're like, I love that the water's cleansing me. I am cleansing my body. I'm loving my body as you like wash your, your, your skin and your cells. You know, you're like, I'm washing, I'm washing my beloved, amazing body. And I know there's things that we don't like about ourselves. Trust me, like my legs, I, I, I have, it's my challenge area. And it's like I get there and I'm like, I love you even more. And, you know, I have these few minutes and, you know, sometimes you've got, got to take a quick shower. And I'm like, okay, just take in that held energy of like the water is holding me. The earth the element is holding me. I am holding me. And we are held so much, so, so, so much. Pulling these Mother Gaia cards. She came, she, can't, she I just grabbed her. As we're talking about Mother Earth, the Great Mother, sometimes we are the ones who are the mothers and that the, we hold other people. We're the nurturers. We all have a side to us, with or without children, and we are, we can hold other people. And sometimes we need to hold ourselves just as much. We have Enchanted Forest, mystery, magic, excitement like getting out into there and there's just so much mystery and, and magic to unfold. This looks like a person, right? It's like the opening, opening your arms wide. But look, it's like the head is the moon. The head is you. The head is like the moon. It's illuminating. Like things are being illuminated. You're going into the enchanted forest of your life. The enchanted forest of your life. You are an enchanted forest. Like your home, make your home. We always joke like around here when we don't joke, but it's like this is our fortress, our little magic tree house, you know, and like enchanted forest. Like get out in nature and get inspired by the nature and make your own space, your own enchanted forest. Number twenty-seven. All right, last card before my baby wakes up. <laughs> I just I'm so happy I got to I did this choice. I made this choice to make this video. The angel cards, okay. New moon. The Empress, number three, Archangel Gabriel. It's so funny on the TikTok video that I, I did, it's, it's the Emperor. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Just what we were talking about, it's that feminine side, that, that holding nature, you know, the Empress. It's creativity, creating your home, creating your space, creating your art, creating you, creating your shower. I don't know why I just knew I had to say that. Um, creating your everything and being held and holding. 
and new things and new um, projects, new ideas are going to be actually taking, being taken action on. So the energy is, it's right now, it's like you really want to get into your best self. You know, big energy. This is beautiful. And like abundance. You're just going to like feel all this abundance of like, I'm a new person. I'm a new human. Next chapter, next phase. Wow. This is your guys' new moon reading. I love it. Happy new moon in Gemini. It's this Saturday night. So I'll see you guys in the next video.